beaches. Hi, Archie. Shelby, Shelby, come on, get up here. Okay. Come here, honey bun. There. <laughs> the adults are up and safe. <laughs> Puppy attack! Oh, it looks like Bootsers find him spot to go. Yep, there he's going. See how great he does. He just runs around looking for a spot. Pretty easy to do this guy. Shelby, what did you get down for? <laughs> Come on, you guys. Come on, get away from that curtain. Come on. Attack! Come on, Boots. <laughs> Dang, milk's empty. <clears throat> Gone dry. None left. What a nice relaxing morning. Cup of coffee in hand. Yeah, gotta love a cup of coffee. <laughs> no, you guys, this is my coffee. You can't have it. Come on, let's get going. Big girl. <laughs> Beaches. They can climb this step. They have gotten up. Big girl and Archie. Big girl. Super girl. <clears throat> Mika, what you doing, Mika? Getting mummy all peeled. <laughs> oh, 
god, this is just so cute. <laughs> Puppy's playing on the deck. Woo with mommy. <laughs> Come on, you guys. Come on. No, stay, Susie. Come on, puppies. <laughs> you ready for your for your close up there, peaches? <laughs> oh, oh, someone's caught in the curtain. Oh, Archie. <laughs> You were coming, hey Arch? Yes. Hey baby girl. Did you get a reprimand, baby? Oh. <laughs> oh. There you go. Ooh, ooh, careful. Careful. Archie. Who's a cute little boy? Yes. Let me go, I wanna go run. Peaches, on the other hand, sure likes to sit. Loves to run and jump and play too, but I think she's been playing a little bit. Wants a little cuddle. Of course, there's Daddy. Taking her easy, watching Ma do all the work. And my pretty little Susie. Susie! Hi, pretty girl! When I bought her, I was... The ad said, purebred. Uh, Shih Tzu. You can see from the long nose, she's not a purebred Shih Tzu. But she's just the cutest little thing you ever saw. I mean, she's got these funky ears. <laughs> she's got these funky ears. And she's really such an adorable little lovey-dovey. Yeah, it looks like someone's got to get their butt cleaned daily because their fur is right is really close to their butts, and usually that's trimmed up so that it's, their poo doesn't stick. <laughs> Come here, Sally. Oh goodness, you jumped up and what happened? I saw that. Yeah. You jumped up and missed? Goodness sake. Poor, poor baby. Yeah. Oh, goodness, Mika just ran into that chair leg <laughs> at first. But see what I mean by, oops, dirty butts? That's got to be cleaned. Oh, 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 you're okay. That's got to be cleaned up. 
I find the best thing to do is is combing it out. Yes, I know, Mummy. You know it's messy. Bootser! Archie! Playing over by the gazebo pole. Peaches and Mika playing in the Walmart bag. <laughs> Big girl and little girl just going after mom. But time to put my camera down so I can drink my coffee. Take the puppies back inside from their exercise. <laughs> Pretty sure mom's gonna like it too. They're just so darn adorable. I just love them to pieces. I got a call from Toronto. Uh, a little girl was uh, watching my video and said, Mom, I want that tricolor girl that's available for my birthday. She's gonna be 13 in it soon, apparently. The only problem is she's from Toronto and it's too far for them to come now. I went down to Etobicoke to get him and my grandson went to Innispo, just about 20-30 minutes the other side of Barrie to get her because Shelby, Shelby's parents are the only ones that I know of that have been regularly having puppies in Thunder Bay and I didn't want anybody related to her to be a mate with her so we went far and I think it worked out really well because there's really no black and white Shih Tzu puppies in Thunder Bay breeding anyway and that's Mikey's jeans, and these tricolors are Shelby's jeans, and they turn out really, really pretty. This is her second batch. She's going to have one more next spring, and then we'll see after that. She's probably going to get fixed. By the time she's fixed, the other girl will be big enough. She, Susie will be able to have babies in a year or so. But I have another female that will be ready in about a year. I don't know why I didn't do this years ago. I just absolutely love dogs, I always have. Don't like the fact that people have big dogs in the city unless they really take care of them. Tying them up to a chain in the backyard or putting them out free in the backyard is not taking care of them. Taking them for walks and taking them to a dog park and so they can run around and socialize with other dogs. Yeah. But there's a German Shepherd that lives next door to us. And all it does is run up and down this fence and back here. Because there's dogs that live back there and dogs that live over there. And all she does is run back and forth and bark, 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 bark. Why I don't like big dogs in the city? Well, people who don't take care of big dogs in the city. But I guess we're going in now. Time to pack her up. Everybody have a great day.